Hi there, everybody. Um, in this video, I want to talk about this really nasty worm that's been going around on the internet, and it's called the conficker. Now, you've probably heard of it if you watched any news or read any articles on your favorite web portals. Uh, now, to make it clear right at the beginning, there's a difference between a virus and a worm, and the difference is that a worm actually needs absolutely no participation from you to get into your system. Uh, it just finds little holes in your system and crawls in like a worm. Now this particular one is really nasty and it's been going around for quite a while now and it's said uh, to only attack Windows users so I guess that if you're a Mac user uh, you should be safe but you know you never know. You can never be 100% sure because this is a really nasty one. Um, it's reported that uh, this particular worm has already infected over uh, 15 million computers worldwide. Now some reports say uh, even more. Uh, every day it seems that it's more and more. Some say 15 million, some say already over 20 million and that number might even grow uh, from day to day. Now like I said it's been going around for quite a while and it's actually quite hard to detect um, but it can be really nasty because it can control some of the key features of your uh, Windows operating system like your um, system uh, update, your Windows update, um, your antivirus programs, firewalls and stuff like that. Now the thing about this worm is that it can actually be on your computer for quite a while and you may not even notice. Uh, the thing is that it sort of hibernates and then in one moment when it's activated uh, along with all the other millions of infected computers uh, it's actually used by the source hacker to attack different targets um, in their systems. Now a big giveaway of how dangerous this worm actually is uh, is the fact that Microsoft uh, has actually offered two hundred and fifty thousand dollars for the heads of the people who are <laughs> for the heads not for their heads not for their lives but uh, for the apprehension of the people who are uh, responsible for this um, so you know that's a quarter of a million dollars so uh, that that tells you that uh, they're practically afraid and it shows you how serious this is. Now how do you know if you're infected by the conficker? Now uh, it's like I said it's hard to detect it doesn't have all the uh, symptoms of uh, regular malware uh, but there are some things that you can do to check. The first thing you can do is go to your system um, security center now right there what you should do is check your automatic updates uh, if they've been disabled and uh, you're not responsible for that if you didn't disable them uh, then that's a sign that you might have a config or worm now if you're like me and you keep these automatic updates disabled at all time then you can open up your uh, Internet Explorer uh, and try run a manual update by clicking on tools uh, now click on Windows update and if you can even open up that website then that's a good sign that uh, you don't have this worm if you can open up this page then again that's a, a big indication that um, that you might be infected. Uh, another thing that you can do is to first clear your browser um, uh, temporary files, temporary internet files, and try and open up uh, uh, the websites of these major antivirus companies like AVG or SSET. Uh, and if you can open up, it's a good. If you can open up those pages, it's a good sign that you. Uh, are not infected because the conficker actually blocks access to these um, uh, servers of these antivirus websites. 
Now, some of these major um, antivirus companies claim that uh, their antivirus software will actually protect you against the swarm. Uh, like Avera specified on their website that um, their antivirus program will prevent the infection and also remove it if you already have it. Uh, although I can't confirm this, uh, AVG uh, says on their website that AVG free will protect you, but however, they won't say if AVG free edition will remove uh, the configer if it already got through. But anyway, in, in these days, uh, no matter what antivirus program you're using, it's really smart to keep it up to date and keep your firewalls on at all times because uh, they will provide the basic protection. You know, and this particular worm looks for holes, so let's not give it a big hole, you know, <laughs> by not having any protection at all. Now, we get to the part where we talk about what to do if you're already infected. Now, there are several removal guides and removal tools that are set to work good. I haven't tested any of them, and I hope to God that I won't have to. Now, I will name some of these tools, and I will provide the download links for them in the video description area. Uh, and some of the tools that you can use to remove this worm are McAfee Stinger, Essets Win32 slash Conficker Worm Removal Tool. Uh, then you got the uh, Cymatex uh, W32.down a dup removal tool, and there's Sophos Conficker cleanup tool. I hope I pronounced all these well. <laughs> Probably not. Anyway, uh, the download links for all these will be in the video description area, like I already said. So uh, if you, God forbid, need them then you can simply download them and try them out. Hopefully you won't be in the position <laughs> to need these tools. Anyways, uh, that's it for this video. I hope that it was helpful and that it threw some light on this whole configure situation. Um, the only thing I can recommend is to keep your antivirus programs up to date and um, keep your automatic updates on, <laughs> at least now, because a lot of people keep them off, uh, and they ignore the importance of these updates, but um, I know I'm one of them, but, you know, we shouldn't. So thanks for watching, and um, take care. Bye.